So guys, see what is happening to Wike in Obiakpo. Even his own kinsmen are against him. I mean, people are never in support of Wike because of the power drunk because of the way he has carried himself as somebody who is power drunk now look at the downfall of wiki even in obiapo his own area his supporters have now dumped him because of all the things he has done to fubara i mean there is no sensible person who will be in support of wiki after becoming the fct minister you still want to lord over the people of rivers and over the governor see what they are doing to him this is his statue they have brought it down they are even breaking it and throwing it on the road like you can see honestly wiki has lost out in river state and this is going to affect his political career because there is no place like home no matter what one day he will still come back to his home who and who is going to support him after all this? So, guys, I'm going to let you watch this video in full so that you see what is happening in River State, in Obiak. But even in LMA, the local government chairmen have been chased out. You know, the people have taken over the council. They said no way for them to come in again because they are insisting that their tenure has not ended. Just take your time and enjoy these videos. Okay. <laughs> They are taking over the council. All of us, they have disappeared. We've had a two of a local government chairman in the state announcing their willingness to leave office in line with the state's local government law of 2018. They are Dame Anengi Barisol, Claude Wilcox, who was the first female council chairman of Boni local government area, and Honorable Nyeda Kukigam of uh, Obon Koro local government area. For speaking to channels television, uh, they urged their colleagues in other local governments to respect the position of the law and exit peacefully. We well, swear an oath of office for three years by the mandate of our people to serve them on the capacity as a local government chairman. And that tenor, I can tell you, has come to an end. The law is sacrosanct that the three years tenor of a local government chairman is stipulated in River State. I will support illegality. But I believe in fairness and justice. We took an oath to serve our people for three years, and today the three years elapsed. So it is proper and right for us to vacate office 
and even obey the law. You cannot change the goalpost in the middle of a match. So what we saw to swore into office is what we're adhering to. That's my stand. I've already vacated office preparation for today. All I'm waiting is for His Excellency to give directive and we do the needful. In those local governments that were having issues, they should just embrace peace. And I will advise my colleagues, if I may say, former colleagues, to obey the law. Nobody is above the law. They should obey the law. And if need be, and they have interest, prepare themselves for, re for an election and come back as council chairman. That's if their people want them. But it's a different strokes for different folks' situation. Because for the chairman of Asari Toru and Akuku Toru local government councils, they say the matter is currently before the court and it is not their fault that the Amewule group extended their tenure by amending the Local Government Act. Addressing journalists jointly at Buguma, the headquarters of Asari Toru Council before the governor's broadcast, they expressed their commitment to maintaining peace amidst disagreement over the tenure. Nobody has stopped the governor from conducting the government election. Our chairman has his ears. Nobody wants to stay beyond his tenure. That's fine, they But we run the constitutional democracy, where everything is by the law, the grand norm. And we must ask ourselves, what did the grand norm say about local government, the territory of government? Is that must be governed by elected uh, council chairman. And for whatever reason, if the governor of the state refused to conduct local government election, and Grace Justice Justice Assembly has tenured our tenure, what fault is it of ours? It's never our fault. People would rather should be asking the governor, why did you not conduct local government election when these, these persons at the tenure were running uh, over? Okay. We're in river state, I challenge everybody. There was no time the state said they want to conduct election and somebody took them to court to, to conduct uh, election. There was no time I challenged. Yes. That they want to conduct election, and the state people say don't conduct election. He deliberately refused to conduct election. So that as brothers, we will kill ourselves. We are kind of people who want us to be wise. Okay. Everybody, there is no, no, there is one, no one life that is not important than the council chairman of this uh, local government or any of our local government. So we must be wise. So guys, it is becoming clear that Wiki has lost out. From all angle, Wiki has lost out. And tomorrow, if the APC should just dump him, it means his political career has come to an end because he's just surviving with one live jacket. That is just it. Because if the APC should dump Wiki now, I don't think if any party will be willing to accept him, don't forget that the AP, the PDP is not even embracing him. He's just using the acting chairman of a PDP to sustain himself. But in the real sense, WK has been rejected in the APC, has been rejected in the PDP, and now that the reverse people are even rejecting him, it means that his political future is about to collapse. So guys, let me know what you think about all this happening in River State. Drop your thoughts and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell. Please give this video a like so that YouTube can recommend it to others. Thank you.